Hi, this is Ryan at SpringvilleOnline.com. Today I'm talking about the Springville City's most wanted website page at Springville.org. Um, this is disturbing to me because I know there's a lot of crimes in Springville. And, you know, these pictures are a misrepresentation of a lot of things here. Um, first of all, this is the picture, and it's been on here for almost three years that I have witnessed it. And you can go to archive.org and look the Springville page up that I'm talking about, the Most Wanted page, and you can see for almost three years this, pa this picture of this family has been here. Now there has been other families, other pictures of people rotated on this, on this page, most of them for just petty crimes, but I know there's bigger problems in Springville. I know there's, and this has been talked about many, for many years in Springville, but corporate embezzlement, there has been, you know, uh, people beating their wife, there has been all kinds of different issues in Springville that have gone unsolved. Um, murders from, you know, not, not very long ago, I mean, certainly, uh, um, you know, some people won't remember them, but uh, murders that have gone unsolved, all kinds of things that have gone unsolved. I remember my friend uh, in Springville up in Mapleton, I'm not going to say his name, but um, his mom got murdered back in the late 70s. And it was an unsolved. It is an unsolved crime. So, you know, for this most wanted page to kind of show these misrepresented, uh, you know, these basic, basically, I call these propaganda. It's showing, oh, these two people stole from Walmart. That's our most wanted. There's no more. There's no bigger crimes than this in Springville. Bull. And let's let's just go ahead and take witness to this. These people got who got robbed and killed, or you know, who got broken into and then killed the assailant. Um, the uh, person who broke in uh, shot him in the chest well the police testified during these interviews with the um, with the media that this guy was a suspect in other robberies and another couple who had been uh, robbed at gunpoint by the same guy allegedly uh, you know had been reported weeks before and you know they uh, they didn't even put it on their most wanted page I didn't see much of anything in Springville uh, as far as media was concerned about this guy robbing people at gunpoint and so it ended up being that this guy got shot in the chest and killed but man that you know they could have done a lot more to prevent what's been going on in Springville well, I'll just play this for you this was on March 1st the suspect is the same man who broke into another home in Springville within the week, threatened the family in that home, stole a gun and a cell phone from them. Police thought perhaps that the gun he was threatening with at this home was that same gun, but upon further investigation, they found that he never had a gun. Back to you. Sure, Park, thanks. Problem. So that was, uh, you can see this, it's at KSL, March 1st. Uh, police identify intruder killed in Springville home invasion. Um, you know, this has been, Springville, you know, really plays down their crime there. They say that Springville is one of the least, you know, problematic places for drugs in Utah. And problem with that is, is that they include all drugs, including inhalants, things you can buy just over the counter, um, liquor, you know, tobacco, and, um, you know, but, but inhalants like gasoline or oven cleaner or whatever they use for inhalants. Uh, they, they include all these things, but they fail to address the real issue in Utah, which is prescription drugs, which is more deadly and more addictive and more problematic than all of the, most of all of these illegal drugs, especially more than marijuana. Um, but yet they focus on, they, they actually have to be so, so subjective that they don't include all the facts. So I think all this is propaganda by Springville. Springville leads, in the, according to their March 18th, uh, 2008 meeting, Springville leads the county by seven tenths of a percent in prescription drug abuse, and the county, Utah County, leads the state in prescription drug abuse, and Utah State leads the nation by twice as much of the national average in prescription drug abuse. So, in essence, Springville is actually number one in the nation for prescription drug abuse, but they don't include when they talk about all their their lack of crime or how wonderful Springville is, they don't include prescription drug abuse in these statistics. They don't include teen suicide rates in Springville in these statistics. They, they, they kind of just uh, pump their community up with good vibrations and wonderful stories of how great Springville is, but they're doing a disservice to the people by not reporting on all of it. That's all i got to say. Check us out at springvilleonline.com.
Thanks.